I'm sitting down with celebrated author Wilbur Smith, and he is going to introduce us to his latest offering, Predator. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to see you again. Thank you. It's good. Four years? It's been, it's been quite a while. I don't know how many years, but it's been quite a while. <laughs> now, you have another book out. Jeez, every time I see you, you have another book out. Well, that's what I do. It is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, over 30 books under your belt. Yeah, getting under 40, no? Oh, jeez. Well, it was, will be 40, they're 40 finished, and um, there's a couple are waiting to be published. When you think about that, when you say you have almost 40 books under your belt, how do you feel? What, what are you thinking about? What are the most... I think I must be crazy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Well, there's some other ways of uh, making a living, I suppose. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's what I do, what I love doing. Uh, writing to me is whole of life. Um, it's what I wanted to, to do right from the time I left school. Mm. And my father said to me, um, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to write. So he said, what do you mean, right? I said, well, I'm going to be a journalist. He said, you don't be crazy. You're starved to death. Go and get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> now, we spoke briefly about the co-authoring the last time we, um. we <coughs> talked, but, and Predator is co-authored. And I understand because of the co-authoring, you can, you can work on more than one book at once. That's correct. Tell me how this works and how you stay on top of each different project. It must be difficult. Oh, no, it isn't. It's just what I do. <laughs> Um, I, each book is separate in my mind, mm. and um, the, uh, the co-author, I still write for one-offs, mm -hmm. my own books. Uh, I'm working on one right at the very moment, but um, it depends on the, the other author, the co-author, mm -hmm. what he's like and or what she's like, because some of them are ladies. Mm. So um, it's is different with each person because they are very much uh, uh, personalities in their own right. All of them are published, uh, published authors. And so I have to set myself to, set their, to suit their purposes as well as my own. All right, well now, you're a writer and I hold, I hold a different space. I'm a journalist and I don't make any money, so I wouldn't have done your father proud. <laughs> um, but what's it like having to work with a co-author? I imagine that might be difficult. Do you feel like you have to put an ego aside? Each one is different mm. because each one is a separate person. Um, I get on very well with people and so I can make uh, allowances for any difference that we have between us. Uh, no, it's, it's easy, and the more you do it, the more easier it becomes. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me about Predator, your latest offering. It's, it's very exciting. I mean, it's, it's very thrilling, and it hits the ground running. Tell me about what we can expect in these pages. Well, you've said it all. <laughs> <laughs> you can expect an exciting adventure story um, set in Angola. A, a, for a great deal of it is mm -hmm. set in Angola. But uh, my characters move around the world. And so, yes, it's, uh, it moves, put mm -hmm. it that way. And that's one of the main things about writing novels, uh, adventure novels. You've got to keep them moving. And I do. Tell me about Hector. Hector is a character. Uh, he is an ex-soldier. He's seen a lot of work. And he's got a, a, a uh, people who help him mm -hmm. and who he trusts and relies on. And they make a team, a formidable, te a formidable team. So th that's what he is about. Now, I know you pride yourself on your research. What mm -hmm. kind of research went into this book? Uh, 50 years of writing 50 years of living in Africa, Traveling. Angola, mm. and uh, the Middle East, and, uh, and 50 years of observing people yeah. and seeing how they react, react 